7 incredible facts about snakes that you didn't know. While snakes can be terrifying by the way they move, by their shiny skin and by their bifurcated long tongue, there are so many other secrets buried deep into the dark ancient history of these feared creatures that could chill your bones. There are legends and beliefs as well as scientific discoveries that attest the fact that snakes are not only creepy for their stories about their mystical powers and significations in different religions but also for their habits, history and anatomical structure. After years of research, snakes are still not an entirely discovered subject by the scientists. You may already know that snake's venom can treat serious diseases like cancer or hypertension, but did you know snakes can kill you even after they are dead? There still remain questions without answers and studies on snakes are made continuously. For example, the venom of dangerous snakes and its properties as a drug. Stay with us and find out 7 incredible facts, legends and discoveries about snakes that will terrify you and might make you change your opinion about these awkward reptiles. Snakes can strike faster than fight planes. Yes, vipers are not the fastest reptiles anymore. While their striking is fast too, there are some other types of snakes, like red snakes, that can accelerate even faster than a viper. For them, striking is not only a way of defending but also the way they feed. If their prey escapes their grip, they have to strike fast enough to catch the rat or bird their fellow. The scientists have studied high-speed videos of striking venomous and non-venomous snakes and came to the conclusion that the investigated snakes have reached to their targets in less than 100 milliseconds faster than the blink of a human eye and also reached an acceleration of 28 gigaseconds. This high performance of snake striking proves not only that these reptiles can strike faster than a fight plane but also their, their resistance to speed is very high as fighter pillars become unconscious at accelerations higher than 9 gigaseconds. Killers after death Snakes and amphibians are known for their post-mortem reflexes. These after-death movements are the result of some electrical charged particles that remain in the snake's cells for a few hours after they die. If these cells are stimulated, they cause an electrical impulse which leads to the reflex of the muscles, like a mortal bite in the case of snakes, as the snake's nerves do not stop functioning and make the dead reptile, even with its head cut, instinctively open its mouth and bite the victim. For example, there was a Chinese cooker who was bit to death by one of the snakes he had just decapitated while preparing a soup out of snakes. No, this is not a science fiction tale, but a terrifying event that took place in 214 due to the reflexes of the dead animal. Snakes are not dangerous only when alive, but they are also feared killers even after their death. 3D Hit Vision Again, no, this is not a fairy tale, but a real particular function of some snakes. For example, pit vipers, along with a few other snakes, own hit vision or infrared vision. This kind of seeing also allows snakes to sense their prey's position. By using hit vision, snakes can see a three-dimensional image of their prey, detecting warm or cold bodies, approximating the temperature of the prey with a millikelvin precision and easily capturing the victim without using light vision. While a blurred image is shaped in the optic tectum, this representation the snake obtains remains a lot better than any infrared camera with the same number of detector cells. Snakes can have some cavities on each side from above their mouth, some pit organs that allow them to sense a moving prey by using thermal vision. This way, even in case of darkness, snakes can still capture a moving prey only by using their infrared vision. Snakes had legs. Snakes strike. This is the first attribution we remember when we think about snakes. Well, but snakes had legs. There were snakes with two, even four legs. The ancestors of the snakes had legs with ankles and toes. The oldest recorded snake fossil in the world, that lived 120 million years ago, was 20 centimeters long and had four legs with five fingers each. And even if this did not help the reptile walk, they helped the snake grip its partner while reproducing. In contradiction with the old theory that snakes and other reptiles have lost their limbs for swimming, new researchers show that snakes have lost their legs when their ancestors became borrowers. 
Scientists compared the inner ears of the old snake's fossils with the ones of the modern ones and saw a significant difference between the snakes that burrow. Snakes feel vibration from distance in water. Water snakes can sense their prey or other creatures moving in the water only by feeling them move and by sensing the vibrations their movement causes to the water. This ability the water snakes have is due to some portions with complicated structures placed on the head of the reptiles which help snakes sense through direct touch. Yet, this scale sensilla, as they are called, might help snakes that live in the water to sense the presence of other creatures at a considerable distance around them, by the vibrations they provoke to the water when moving. While this is not an attribution of the land animals, scientists say that this distance feeling, which is hydrodynamic, might be an important organ for water snakes, and this additional new sense has developed due to the evolution in time from land snakes to water snakes. Double Terror if you thought that one striking fork-tongued snake is scary, then the terror will get double for you when you will find out that two-headed snakes exist. Snakes with two heads are just like human Siamese twins. They start dividing into two identical creatures, but the process stops at one point, leaving the twins united, but their heads or even other parts of their body. Consequently, there also exist snakes with a single stomach and body, but two necks and two heads. They can be non-venomous as well as venomous snakes. Yet, they are, are less dangerous than snakes with one single head as they often do not agree on which way to move. Some two-headed snakes fight each other for food or steal the prey from each other's mouth when they are very hungry and others fight the other head as they mistake it with the prey. Snakes are the hunters and snakes are the prey. While snakes are immune to their own poison and their own species' poison, they can easily die or be affected by the mortal toxins from the venom of other species of snakes. Yes, these feared killers can also be killed from other poison. Moreover, snakes can also eat other smaller snakes or even bigger ones. For example, king snakes are well known for eating other snakes such as corn snakes or rat snakes by suffocating them and stopping their circulatory system from functioning. In conclusion, even if snakes are horrible hunters and kill more than 30,000 people every year in some regions, fast and painful, they can also become victims and even delicious meals for other hungry snakes. <laughs>